In one of my most recent Daihatsu Mira walkthrough van videos, we bought a futon and I gotta figure out how to make it fit in here. Uh, it doesn't fit. I didn't know about this part and I didn't account for this. This sticks out just enough where you can't close the doors. With the seat folded up though, you get the forward one and you can pull this futon up enough like I'm this much further in now, but then we can't use that. We should now be able to close the door. All right, I've been chugging away at this for quite some time. This thing has like a million staples in it. Oh man. So what's really funny is actually, this was like this. It, it makes it look like that it had this nice like sewed in seam and whatnot. The seam is fake. It's just this fake seam thing and they staple it on. I peeled it back just about as far as I need to cut it. Uh, looking at this thing, it's pretty shoddy plywood. I mean, this is what you get for buying cheap, cheap furniture. This is what it looks like inside. Uh, it's all this like patchwork of stuff, figuring out what I need to do here. So I need to retain these triangles. I'm thinking I need to cut it so this will be the same distance as this thing, because that's that was a good spot for it. It's not a very stable spot, not like this, but let's get that figured out in the cut somewhere this is about two inches to the top of that hole that means i need to line up two inches to the top of this hole wrong because that's where i was satisfied with the thing and that leaves my mark there at four and three quarters from the top that's where i need to cut to shrink this thing back all right so this is what i have now and you can see i goofed on the measurement here I did two inches from the top of that vein to the top of the hole, which is what I measured from here. I measured two inches up, which is where I made the cut. And that's not right. This has to go another inch because this thing to the top of this part is actually an inch. And if I cut this another inch, I will lower this where I want it to be. So I used my oscillating tool and I cut the, the, these staples out and I was able to just slip this right back over where it's supposed to go. I'm going to see if this is actually enough and I'll just leave it alone. Unfortunately, no. So close. All right, it's late now. I'm just gonna. Ah! I don't know what happened. But... All right. Anyways, it's late now. I will continue this tomorrow. And this is why you wear safety goggles when you do this. See how this went in this way and curled back out this? Theoretically, it could have came all the way through. Same with these two over here. Did I wear safety goggles? Nah, but at least I'm wearing something. Find the hole again. Should I get that before I drill? I mean, before I staple, but I think I found it. those strands yet until I know it's good. Fully modified futon where I shortened the back. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right, gotta get some of the stuff out of the way. Bag of chips too. Alright, let's go. So now he can have a secured seat here and we can chill on the futon back here. I still have to secure the futon, but I think this is a great success. <sighs> Just the simple futon modification to shove in the back of a Daihatsu Miro van. Uh, this is awesome. Still can only seat one person because the seat will kind of get in the way. I mean, and this is as safe as this seat, honestly, really, because this thing is just bolted to the side. It just folds down. There's no seatbelt. There's nothing. This thing, I will have to secure its legs and stuff so it doesn't move around, and therefore, no seatbelt, whatever. It's as secure, as safe, and whatever as this other one. I screwed in some D-rings. I didn't really measure. I kind of just put them in there. Uh, this one got mangled because the fabric got caught in the screw and ripped. Uh, it seemed pretty secure. Same on this side. I'm going to try to ratchet strap the thing in. I'm going to start with these ones. I probably replace this screw with one of these. And then we'll see how this goes. All right, I crisscrossed it the best I can for now because I only have one of these on both sides. But for what it is, 
it's not bad. This thing was reclining a little bit too much and I was kind of pressing up against the door rod. I didn't really like that. Plus, we don't need that much recline. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna jam a piece of wood underneath here to keep it from pivoting down. Oh yeah, this piece of scrap I've been hoarding for like three years. Fi oh, actually no, probably more than that. <laughs> Finally able to use it. I used that scrap that I showed you to do this. Okay, of course I cut, it's too long. So I'm gonna shave it down like half an inch maybe. All right, there it is. It's pretty upright now, let's go try it out. All right, this is legit. So this seems to hold itself up, seems to fit. The seat doesn't even move anymore, so this is perfect. Thanks for watching guys with uh, me setting up my shady futon in this Dahatsu Mira walkthrough van. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe for more car content like this. Bye-bye. Uh,